Okay, in this video we're going to look at the basic drawing tools and how to create some simple 3D shapes. Um, I'm going to be using the default view here and I'm currently in the woodworking inches template. However, this would work with any of the templates. So I'm going to come up to the, stop, to the menu at the top and I'm going to go to my shapes tool and I'm going to make sure I have rectangles selected because I, I want to draw a square. And you'll notice that the cursor now changed to show a little rectangle around a pencil. If I go to circle, it changes to a circle. It's just a subtle reminder of which shape you're working with. Um, when I move around, you'll notice when I get to the point where the axes meet, that the, the little icon shows up saying, hey, you're at the origin. This is 0, 0, 0, which is where I want to start. If I click right now, that first point is connected to that center point of the 3D space. That first click indicates the first corner. And my second click is going to say where I want the other corner of my rectangle. Now you'll notice occasionally that this dotted line shows up. And that's indicating right now that I am working in a golden section, as you see with the little pop-up. You'll also notice down here in the corner where we have our dimensions that as I move around, those numbers change to reflect what the lengths of the sides would be if I were to click. Well, I said I wanted to do a square, so let's put in exactly how big I want to make this. That way I'm not kind of hunting around to find it. I'm going to go with lengths of 5, so I'm going to type 5, comma, 5. And you'll notice the measurements in the dimension spot down in the corner now say 5, 5. If I hit enter, there's my square. But that's kind of tiny. So I can zoom in, or I can hit zoom extents, and it'll fill my view. I don't want to draw another rectangle right now, so I'm going to turn off my uh, drawing tool by selecting the select tool option. And then I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing. Now, I want to make this a 3D shape. So I'm going to use my push-pull tool. And once I select this, you'll notice that when I hover over my shape, the pattern inside changes to indicate the side that I'm going to be working with. My first click selects this area. The second click after I either move up or down, will define the max height of my shape. Since I used 5, let's go with a height of 5 and keep this a perfect cube. 5, enter, and then zoom extends so I can see my square. And there we have it. We have a uh, cube. I can kind of rotate around and you can see all the sides here. But what about some of the other shapes I can make? Well, let's look at a circle. And for this, let's draw a circle on the side here. Now, I want to center this. And I, I'm moving around and I'm not really finding the center. So I'm going to come over to one of my edges. You'll notice the cursor changes a little bit. A red square indicates I'm working with the edge. But when I come near the center, I get this blue circle and it tells me I'm at the midpoint. Awesome. If I start moving over from the midpoint, um, it's hard to see on the screen, but there's a very faint dashed green line indicating that I'm lined up with that center point. If I come up to this line and find the midpoint, I can then come down. And when I get to the midpoint of both lines, you see that I have a dot at both of those midpoints and if I click I'm right in the center of my square I'm gonna go ahead and come up and make my second click up here at the midpoint and there we have it I now have a circle I can go ahead and extrude or pull that out notice I go back for a second that that pattern is dependent on where my cursor is at so I could select this side and pull that out, or I can just select that edge and pull it out. So it allows you a little more 
selection when you have multiple shapes on one side. So now let's look at the polygon tool. And I'm going to come over to this side now and let's find my midpoint and midpoint and there we go. There's the center of both. Now let's say I want to make a pentagon. Okay. I can define the number of sides by typing in 5s, s for sides. And when I hit enter, my shape changes and you see um, that there is a pentagon there. So I'm going to go ahead and I can select that point and finish my pentagon. There we go. Push, pull, to, oops. push, pull to bring that out. And there we go. Now, a couple of you may notice when you do this on your own, that when you go to the circle tool, it also behaves a little weird in that it, it probably looks a little bit more like this, where it looks like a bunch of straight segmented edges, more like a polygon than a circle. Um, by default, this is what it's going to look like. It's more like that. To get that smooth edge, just type 100S, indicating that you have 100 individual segments. And that visually will make your circle look more smooth. Um, and then you just finish it off. So that is how we create some basic shapes. Go ahead and give this a shot on your own and see what you can make.